Oh, hello there. So many of you know that there's this show called Game of Thrones, and its eighth season just happened. And let's just say, some people were disappointed. So I thought, since nobody liked the eighth season, we should make our own season. But I'm super lazy, so I'm gonna make my computer do it for me with machine learning. How will I do this? Well, here's a crash course in machine learning. Basically, first we gather a bunch of data for the computer to see. After the computer sees the data, it is able to replicate it. Here's an example. I want to teach some kid how to do math. Well, I don't feel like teaching, so I'm just going to gather a bunch of math problems with answers and give it to the kid. Then, over time, the kid will gradually know how to do math. That's the essence of machine learning, kind of. We give our computer data, and then it learns the data. Okay, that's some oversimplification, but you get the point. So all we need for our Game of Thrones script generator is a bunch of scripts that we give to the computer, which hopefully it will then be able to learn from, and then produce new scripts. So now, we just need a bunch of scripts of people saying stuff from the show. Where could I find those? Well, a simple search gave me some results. So here's what I did. First, I went to some website, which had all of the scripts of all 67 episodes in seasons 1 through 7. I wrote a simple Python program to download all the relevant text into a bunch of text files. Then, I combined all of the text files into one giant text file. This text file now contains the entire script from all 67 episodes in one file. And this is what we will be using as our data to give the computer. To create my machine learning program, I'll be using a Python library called tflearn, which actually itself uses another library called TensorFlow, but that's not super important. The main reason I chose to use tflearn is because the code is very short and simple, which means I don't have to code a lot. Oh, and also they have a bunch of examples online, and I just have to copy one and change a few words to get it to work. So I copied this Shakespeare generator from the tflearn website, and then I modified it to generate Game of Thrones. I ran the program for a few hours, and let's see how it did. So immediately after starting, the computer is able to learn pretty quickly that capital letters of the names of people appear in the beginning of sentences. It is also able to learn grammar, like where colons, periods, and commas go. That's pretty good considering it just started learning. However, we see that the names of people and some words aren't real and don't make sense. Hmm, let's give our computer some more time. After some time, the computer is able to create real words. We can also see the names of many characters popping up. I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let you observe the beauty of the computer creating new Game of Thrones scripts. Each new script will be better than the previous one, because the computer is taking more time to learn. And after letting the computer run for a few hours, here is the final result. Did the computer do better than the Season 8 writers? Well, I'll leave that up to you. Also, stay tuned because I might put links to the code and data in the description below eventually, if I feel like it or if people want it. Bye.